Ska. Hi, I'm Nick Skoltz, professional tennis player from South Africa. Okay, Nick, uh, into two finals now in uh, two weeks. Uh, you must be feeling pretty good about your game. I am. You know, it's uh, coming straight out of college to here, and you know, I didn't expect to uh, to really do this well. I obviously believed in myself, and you know, I, I gave it all I had. All I had, but. You know, the results I've achieved these two weeks is really uh, inspiring and, and definitely it gives me a lot of confidence for going into the future. You were telling us uh, at the beginning when you arrived from the USA that you were struggling a little bit with the altitude and you got better and better. I mean, you've beaten seven seeds in nine matches, nine match winning streak. That's <laughs> a pretty awesome uh, little run there. Yes, it is. You know, when you come from low altitude, it's always a little bit of uh, adaption that you have to make. And um, I've been happy that I've been able to do so. And, um, you know, you, you get used to it now and you go back there and you come back and it's the same thing again. You just have to get used to it. So, you know, I, I knew that coming into here and, and I've been happy with the way I've been able to adapt. Tell us a little bit about uh, college tennis. You an Ole Miss uh, groupie and uh, you've uh, <laughs> had a pretty good run over there. Do you think uh, college tennis has been good for your game? For me, it's been great, you know, obviously everyone's different um, for the, for me and, and, you know, I was a late developer and I had some things to work on. So it was just a great safe harbor for me to go to and further my education and also just work on the things that that I, that, that needed work. And um, it, it really helped me, you know, to get into that, that next level because I, was, I wasn't ready for it. When I came straight out of high school, there was no way. The game is just too physical nowadays, so... When you look at the average age of the guys in the top top hundred, it's just it doesn't really make sense to to try to go for it straight away because it's just there's just so few really young guys that are, that, are, that are able to make it today with the game being so tough. So it's just it's just great and also to get the education education under your belt to know that you know whatever happens in your tennis career, whether you make it or not, you're you're set for the future and really gives you a great peace of mind. You know, in the late uh, 1990s, I never forget Andre Agassi and Amanda Kutzer were at Para Tennis Club and you were chosen as one of the juniors to come in and hit some balls with those guys when they launched the Nike Junior Tour. I mean, did you ever think you would have got to this stage um, when you were so young? Well, back then, everything just feels like a dream. And I remember that you know, specific exhibition we played and it was just all uh, a big blur. I don't remember much, much of it. I remember that I loved Agassi once and... He looked at me and told me, great shot. Now that I think back, I think I loved him when the ball bounced on the service line. So he just obviously let me love him. But, um, you know, he was, it was great to meet him and also uh, Amanda. And I, I don't remember too much of it. But, you know, looking back at it now, it's, it's really been a great journey to... Uh, obviously, I'm still far from, from that level. But, you know, so far it's been a hell of a ride. And uh, I hope it doesn't end soon. Just tell us a little bit about your, your family. I mean, obviously a big inspiration in, in, in your life. Yes, for sure. You know, they've always been there to support me. My dad, you know, taught me to play. He's been, um, he's always been there for me and, and, and he taught me everything I know, um, you know, which isn't a bad effort from, a, from an ex-pro rugby player. And, um, but, you know, the game is so mental these days. It's not all technical and he really helped me a lot with that. But I've also had, you know, the influence of a, of a lot of great people in my life that, you know, crossed, crossed my path and, and were able to taught me the, the things that, that I know and the things that, that made a big difference, but definitely been blessed with my family. And, um, and you know, I love them to death. I've, they've always been there for me. And, um, you know, we, we, we can't all choose, you know, where we're born, but I've definitely been lucky and blessed that I've, that I've, that I've had the family that I've had. Davis Cup, you've played the Davis Cup, but you're playing at the highest level for your country. Um, how big is that in your, in, in, in your, your, your box of uh, things to do? You know, that was great. That was, um, that was one of the big, my biggest goals growing up was to play for my country and, and there's it's always a lot of passion and it always means a lot when I, when I go out on the court and represent South Africa but especially that win we had against Monaco just um, you know it really gave me a lot of confidence and after that I went about four months without losing a match and I lost my first match now in the NCAA tournament and now I've, I've won a couple again right after that so things like that just really you know, helps you a lot, makes you believe in yourself and just gives you such a mental boost that that's really great that, uh, that I was able to get that from Davis Cup. If you look at the pro circuit and you look at some of the players that maybe have inspired you, who are they and why? You know, I've always been a big uh, Merit Safin fan when I, was, when I was growing up just because, 
You know, he's he's a great character, and you never, when you watch him play, you just never know what's what's about to happen next. And I always found that real, you know, exciting, and um, also one that kind of carried over from my dad, because my dad obviously, you know, planted that seed because he used to be a big Bjorn Borg fan, and uh, and you know, when I did some research on him and and um, you know, kind of realized everything he's achieved, I definitely became a big fan of of his too, with everything he accomplished in such a short career. It's uh, it's really magnificent. So I think if he played, if he played until a normal retiring age of about 32, I think he would have been the greatest player ever. Okay, a young kid comes up to you and says, "I want to be a Nick Skultz." What would your two words of advice be to that young kid? Work hard. Work hard. <laughs> cool.